Okay, we're back with the uh, Samsung uh, i600. Uh, just had a couple of minutes with it, basically. Um, got the battery in and uh, powered it up. So, just wanted to show you uh, what it's like, what the uh, actual uh, OS and uh, screen looks like. Um, I'm not sure how well that. Uh, comes out on the video camera here but uh, the screen is actually extremely uh, extremely sharp uh, it's not ever so large which I guess makes it uh, makes it look a lot clearer uh, okay we've got a rolling menu structure here which looks quite good uh, let's see what we've got on here we've got uh, now playing Recent songs, my photos, uh, profile settings, uh, appointments, contacts, uh, calendar, I guess, voicemail, message center, missed calls, SMS, Outlook email, favorite numbers, and um, back to now playing. Um, that's notice the uh, there's a media player soft button there, which is quite nice. So have a quick look in the start menu. Um, not forgetting, of course, this is a smartphone, no touch screen. Uh, let's have a look at the settings in here. Um, icons look fairly uh, usual, normal for smartphone. I think uh, out of the ordinary here. Oh, Pixel Viewer. Um, Samsung seem to install this on uh, a lot of their smartphone devices uh, for viewing uh, images, Word documents, uh, slideshows and so on. Uh, we've got a podcast downloader which we'll take a look at later and uh, an RSS reader which is quite useful if you're into RSS I suppose. Um, let's just have a quick look in the settings menu. It's fairly standard fare. Let's have a look in about Yep, WM5 available storage 47 meg. I don't know if you can see that there. Total storage 54 meg. Available memory, uh, processor, OMAP, on versions, and so on. Looks fairly standard. Camera, let's take a quick look at the camera. Hmm. Well, to me it doesn't look too bad. We'll take some shots of that and obviously post those up and let you know what we think of those. Um, and we'll spend the rest of the day playing with this now. And we'll get back to you and let you know what we think.